Hello my friends all over the world, wherever you are. William Poloniak here again from Whole Health Foundation. And tonight I'm making a very simple juice with mostly beets with tops and carrots and a few other ingredients. Let's look at the rest of my ingredients. In addition to my carrots and beets, I'm putting in some ginger, garlic, some avocado seeds. I'll bet you didn't know there was nutrition in avocado seeds. And about 145 grams of turmeric. So I'm going to start with my beets. Let's make some juice. Now today I'm using the six blade near zero blowback cutter that has over 110 sharp teeth and the front loading feed tube. Now one thing I've noticed with the front loading feed tube and the near zero blowback cutter is I don't need to use the large number J grid for greens. I can use the number two grid and it does a very satisfactory job. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug in my thermometer and cool down the cutter with some ice cubes. I will start with three ice cubes to cool down the cutter and the feed tube. I'm going to start with my beets. small carrots like I have here you can put in several at a time. Now here's the last of my carrots. And I want to point out again one of the advantages of the front loading feed tube is you can see in here if there's any produce that's not shredded and I can see a couple of pieces of carrots in here. So what I'm going to do is put some pulp in and force that last plug of carrot through so that all my produce is shred. And I also want to point out that I'm using the number two grid instead of the J grid which has larger holes. And that is because the near zero blowback cutter with over 110 sharp teeth does a much better job shredding produce. You don't need a larger grid. Okay, the next step I'm going to clean my feed tube, my grid, mix my pulp and make some juice. And notice again how I put the grid in the palm of my hand, scrape on both sides and use my finger to scrape off the pulp. The next step is to mix my produce and in this batch we've only got beets and carrots and a few other ingredients like the avocado pits the ginger, the garlic, and the turmeric. It's a good idea to spin the bowl in both directions to get a really good mix. And then we'll get the cloths out of the freezer and we'll press some juice. Now we're going to fold some pulp into these cloths. Three scoops, about a cup, cup and a half. You don't want your cloths to be too thick and too full. Flatten that down, fold it into thirds like they came packaged as tight a package as you can, set it aside, and we're going to press two cloths full of pulp at one time. And we're using a Whole Health Foundation Premium Model Juicer. Centered, left to right, centered front to back, you can reach in here and adjust it. All the way back, back it off a little bit, and continue folding cloths full of pulp. Before you fold your last cloth, advance it all the way. This goes forward, this goes over, the spent cloths go on top. Now you'll notice I have some puddling in the bowl, so I'll show you what to do next. But first, two more cloths in the tray, centered left to right. Centering it is very, very important. Centered front to back, all the way back and back it up. Now, because I've got puddling here, I'm going to hold this very firmly with my thumb and push down while I pour this into the tray, into the collection bowl, that is. And as I mentioned before, the first time I did that, I got it all over my counter because I wasn't careful enough. Now, my bowl is very, very full, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. And I'll put two scoops on top of the old pulp. 
that's almost going to overflow. Let's advance that. Now, I'll fold my last cloth full of pulp before I put this into bottles. This goes forward, that goes over, the spent clouds go on top. But because I'm going into bottles with this juice, I'm going to put this tray back. Not a little, a lot. You want it to be so obvious that you don't make the mistake of forgetting. And believe me, you will forget. Put it back a lot. So let's fill some bottles. I'm filling this from the back side so that you, you can get a good camera angle. And notice I'm leaving about 10% for filtered or distilled water. Most juice is much too sweet anyway. I like to put about 10% of distilled water in my juices. So let's make more juice. Pull this tray forward. Put two more cloths full of pulp in the tray, centered left to right, centered front to back, all the way back, back it off. And again, because we have some puddling, in the juice tray, I'm going to take this pulp, crush it up, put it in the puddle to absorb all that juice, and we'll continue. I'll put three scoops of pulp. Now two scoops on top of the spent pulp, and watch my folding technique. Just like they came packaged in thirds, you pull it over like this. Make a little crease back here, and with your fingers, pull this under. Turn it upside down, flatten it. And when you're on your last cloth, advance that all the way. Put two more scoops. Now this pad is getting pretty thick. I think next time I'll put only one scoop. Very important not to have your patties be too thick. As I said, because this patty is very thick, I'm only going to put one scoop. Pull this forward, that goes over. Now what I'm going to do with the spent cloths, I'm not going to throw it away. First of all, I'll center this left to right front to back, all the way back, back it off. I'm going to form this spent pulp into a tight package. I want to demonstrate how the Whole Health Foundation Premium Model Juicer can make over 10% more juice from your spent pulp. So we'll form this into a tight package. And watch my folding technique. I'm going to fold this under two or three times, four or five if need be. We'll do that in both directions. Now folding it under like that is going to minimize slippage. That's that all the way. Now what I've done here is I've taken all the spent pulp and put it into three double packets. And what I'm going to do now is use a measuring beaker to measure how much extra juice we can get using a Whole Health Foundation Premium Model Juicer with that premium bottom plate. On a Whole Health Foundation Premium Model Juicer you can use your, leave your press up indefinitely. Now center it left to right, center it front to back, all the way back, and as soon as I get juice flow I'm going to back it off a little because you do not want this to go up too quickly. You want traction, you don't want any slippage at all. So there we go, advance that a little bit more, and then all the way. And as soon as it changes the droplets, we'll back that off and put in two more cloths full of reprocessed pulp. Now there we have 17 ounces of juice, and we could probably get a little bit more. Now unfortunately, in my pouring container is full so I'm going to have to keep this separate. Well maybe we can get some in there. Only about half. Alright let's fill more bottles. 
looks like we're going to get about 11 bottles of juice and one of these bottles, remember, about one and a third of these bottles is from the reprocessed pulp. Now what I'm going to do next is fill this with distilled water and top off these bottles. Alright my friends, from this batch of juice we got 5, 10, 11 bottles and enough for a taste test. And remember about one and a half of these bottles came from pressing more juice out of the already spent pulp using the Whole Health Foundation Premium Model Juicer. So let's do a taste test. Well my friends, we have mostly carrots and beets with ginger, garlic and turmeric, a couple of um, avocado pits, and let's see what it tastes like. Oh, it's delicious. I thought I put too much garlic in, but it's just right. Well, I hope you like what you've seen. If you do, please tell a friend. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. I'll see you in the next video.